headliners almost uh, broke the Serena peace talk deal that lasted for 40 days under the headship of uh, Dr. Kofi Annan, the former Secretary General of UN. It is hardliners. After Kofi Annan realized that hardliners were bringing a lot of problems to the negotiation, he decided to sideline the hardliners. The number one hardliner on the PNU side was none other than the current head of state, President William Samoe Arap Ruto. William Ruto, it is either his way or the highway. And Kofi Annan in his memo was able to reveal that had he allowed Ruto to remain in the negotiation table, by then he was supporting uh, the former Prime Minister Raila Amolo Dinka. The Serena Peace negotiation would not have been fruitful. So on the PNU side, it was Mother Karua. On the ODM side was William Samoe Ruto. Mother Karua was a tough speaking. That's where she earned her name, the Iron Lady. So on Kibaki side, Mother Karua was a very tough. So those were the two main headliners during the Serena Peace Talk. As the Zimio intensify their weekly protests across the country, all signs are indicating that we are going to have a, a handshake. International community is pressurizing uh, the two guys, the president and the former prime minister, Raila Odinga, to have talks. The members of the clergy, religious leaders, both the Islam, Islamic religious leaders and Christian religious leaders, the council of bishops, council of imams, all of those groups, a council of jurists, human rights commissions they are intensifying their pressure on the head of state and the opposition leader to have talks and when they have these talks most likely the country will end in a handshake but we have six people three from the government side and the three from opposition side who are carrying hardline position due to their personal interests. And these persons include number one, the Deputy President, His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa, as he normally calls himself or refer to himself as the son of Mau Mau. He has repeatedly said that there is no handshake, there is no nusumkate. And if Raila don't know him or them, then he would ask Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta. It will be very difficult for Rigadi Gashago to allow President William Samoy Ruto to enter into handshake with Raila Amolo Dinga. The second person is Kimani Chungwa, that is the Kikuyu MP and the majority leader in the National Assembly. Uh, speculations are from his speeches that maybe he's the one who must minded the invasion of Northland City, the land that is believed to be owned by Kenyatta family. And the third guy in uh, government side is uh, none other than Dindi Nyoro. So Rigadi Gashakwa, Kimani Chungwa, and Dindi Nyoro, those are the guys in government side who are not likely to give room for handshake or negotiation. And these are, might be the reasons why they, may, they are not willing to allow His Excellency President William Samoy Ruto to have negotiations or peace talk with Raila Amorodinga. Number one, the three guys at the moment hold immense power within and without the government. So if Raila Odinga joined the government, he will dilute their power. 
because he will have to take some powers from them and amass to himself and to the people around him. So this fear of diluting their power with the entrance of former prime minister in the government gives them a headache and makes them to have a hardline position. Second reason why the trial or the three guys would not allow President have talks with the opposition leader Raila Molodinga is that Raila is likely to break their party which is United Democratic Alliance because from history when Raila Amolodinga joined Kano during the later days of uh, former President Daniel Torotich Arab Moy, Kano went down. That's the time they said Joko Alimeza Tinga Tinga Bila Kuzimisha engine. So that is where Raila and the name Tinga. Kano went down. The time Raila Morodinga had a handshake with the immediate former president, Uhuru Mwengai Kenyatta, Jubilee went down, and some of the repercussion is uh, William Samoy Ruto, who was the deputy party leader of Jubilee, and his allies were chased from the party. And in fact, it's in record, the secretary general of Jubilee, Rafael Tuju, barred them from accessing the party headquarters at Pangani. Now, hardliners are in both sides of the coalition. On opposition side, one of the main hardliners, and surprisingly, he was she played still a hardliner role in Kibaki administration in 2007-2008 for selection violence. His mother, Karua. I am very sure that before Mother Karua joined Raila Odinga in this protest, Raila Odinga must have explained to her what they want and what they are going to fight for. So if Raila Odinga settled for anything less than whatever they agreed with the Iron Lady, Mother Karua, then be rest assured. Mother Garua will not join Raila Amolo Dinga in the next course that Raila will take, even if it will be joining the government. And this will paint Raila Odinga badly. Another headliner is uh, Oburu Odinga. That is the CIA senator. This is the elder brother to Raila Amolo Dinga. And uh, he's one of the greatest advisors to Raila Molo Dinga. They have learned from mistakes they have done in the past. For example, this handshake, it is widely, the handshake that Raila Odinga made with the President Uhuru Kenyatta, it is widely believed that it is uh, the reason why uh, Raila did not become a president in 2022 general election. Because Raila went alone he deserted his allies like Musalia Mdavadi and uh, Moses Masika Wetangula then when uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta gave him development he also just took the development to Nyanza so other areas who have been uh, the stronghold of of uh, God then Azimio the head he had to lose a good number of supporters due to that so Obur Odinga will not allow Raila Odinga to do the same same mistake that he did in the past. The Swahili is normally say mtoto wa nyoka ni nyoka. Another headliner is Raila Odinga's daughter who is an MP for Iala East African Legislative Assembly Winnie Odinga. She is also a headliner. Raila must sing to the tune. The minimum conditions that Raila uh, should give to the President William Samoy Ruto for them to have a handshake must be met. Failure, the Madamana should continue until the end of life.
so those are the three guys from that side and some of the reasons why that uh, uh, they will give Raila not to to relent or not to heed not, not to join a handshake without them is that uh, a deal they must strike a deal that shall give Raila an appointing authority a deal that shall give Raila a budget for development and many other things so those are the six guys from both sides of political divide that might hinder handshake uh, soon because the Serena talks took 40 days so we don't know how long uh, the handshake between William Samoy Ruto and Raila Odinga will take with these six hardliners being on both sides of political divide but as it's normally said time will tell what's your take